We're very nearly done with the mouth rig. The main thing we need to tackle next is the controls for the lips. One of the big concepts in facial rigging is taking a larger shape and splitting it up into several smaller controls that when active make the full shape. With this in mind, I've made several large shape keys of the mouth moving in several different axes. The x-axis is more of a rotation around the teeth, but that will help with the overall effect in the end. I'm working on a separate mesh to my rigged mesh, as it makes it easier to manage the vertex groups in the shape keys. This is going to involve weight painting several vertex groups and making sure they're all normalized. We're going to start with splitting the corners from the center. Start with the group named outer. Select the entire mesh and then deselect the corner edge loop. Shrink the selection two or three times and flood the vertices to one. Then select the entire mesh, deselect the mouth corner loop and the center loop and then use the smooth weights function to get a smooth arc. Auto normalize doesn't work with non-deforming vertex groups so we're going to have to use the normalize all function quite a lot. In this case, we're going to make a group called Corners, flood it to 1, then select the outer group and click Normalize All. This takes the outer weights and removes it from the corner group, leaving you with only the corners weighted. Then, create a group called Center, and using the same trick from the outer group, we select the center band of vertices. We flood it to 1, then expand the selection a few times and smooth out the transition. Now, we have weights for the center, the outer, and the corners. We need to split these groups further into upper, lower, left, and right. Start by duplicating the groups by pressing copy vertex group. We need a left and right group for the corners, an upper and lower group for the center, and then four groups for the outer, for left upper, right upper, left lower, and right lower. We then select the lower vertices of the face and remove it from any group that has upper in the name. Invert the selection, remove the selection from any group that has lower in the name. Repeat the same with the left side of the face, removing it from any group with right in the name, and the same with the right side with any group with left in the name. We should end up with eight groups that are all normalized. Now for each shape key, we want to set it to one, apply a vertex group, join it to the rig mesh as a shape key, and then rename it. If you do some maths, four shape keys, eight vertex groups, that's 32 shapes that have to be joined and given drivers. Luckily for you, I've created a script that will automate this process. This script takes the name of your shape key mesh, and then your rigs mesh, and finally your rig. It then cycles through your vertex groups, adding a bone for each of the groups. Then cycling through the shape keys, it sets the value to 1, adds the vertex groups, and joins it to the rigged mesh as a shape. It then adds a driver from the bone to each shape key. The expression I use is var divided by 0.1, as I want my shape key to activate when the bone moves 0.1 units. If you want your shape key to activate at a different point, you would just change the value to something else. I would recommend saving to a separate file first, and then you just click run, and all of your shape keys are added, named, and driven by a bone with a corresponding name. I left a bunch of comments in the script that should help you understand any sections you don't get, but also I will try to answer any coding questions in the comments if I can. This should hopefully highlight the importance of coding. I'm still very much a beginner in coding for Blender, as Blender's Python API is incredibly confusing with needing to understand data paths and it always crashes. But when you get the hang of it, it can be a very powerful tool that literally saves you hours of time repeating monotonous tasks. I use Maya quite a lot and I automate practically every part of the process as doing it by hand is so much slower and leaves so much more room for human error. Maya scripting is far easier though and way more accessible to beginners. Once you've run the script, you can then position the bones in edit mode, making sure that symmetry is on so you only have to position one side. Play around with these controls and test out what poses you can create. Notice how since all the groups are normalized, we can move the bones all at once to get the full shapes. In a previous version, I realized that I should have smoothed the center groups much more than I did, as you can see in this screenshot. I only noticed after connecting the bones up to the shapes, but since I have automated the process of adding the shape keys, it doesn't take long at all for me to return to an earlier version and redo the weight painting. In the next video, we're going to look at finalizing the mouth rig, which is going to include making the bones follow the controls, giving custom bone shapes, and adding extra shape keys.